Welcome to Pseudo Creations where we make your imagination a reality. Today I am designing a backdrop. It's a double layer backdrop for my booth at the bridal show. So let me know in the comments what you think and give me a like. To make it easier, this is a foot and a half. This is a foot and a half. So on each side a foot and a half. And then we have this middle just so it's even on both sides. So that's where we're at. The total length is a hundred and it's 220 centimeters so I just divided that in half to start out but then I realized this was a little off so I went with a foot and a half so this the white and the pink are three feet on both sides and then this centers everything I forgot my middle design so I'm gonna see if my husband can bring it if he can't I have to try to get this down tomorrow and fit that pole because I need another crossbar to do a middle so this is a triple layer I might make it four layers but I need that a middle pole so I can do uh, two swoops on the inside to see that corner right there with the pink but I'll let you know if I'm able to while you see that so I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing just to save time now that our drapes are on and evenly measured we are going to work on the shoulder caps now what you do is the seam that you thread your fabric to the pole you just use your fingers and work your way to gather all that fabric into your fingers the hard part is the type of fabric I'm using so this is not stretchy at all and it's a heavy-duty sequin fabric so with all those three aspects it makes it very hard to not only gather but to get it where it doesn't slip out i've had this slip out on me a couple of times if you can have a stick or something you can grip that pole cleaner too and thread it then it makes your life easier but i have to thread the pipe cleaner through as best as i can and try to pick it up from the opposite end I'm showing you the other one I know a lot of my drape tutorials people have asked for more detail more close-ups so I did not want to put this video out but because of the fact that I was a little more detailed in showing some aspects not the full thing but at least you're able to really see how I do this so you see me thread that try not to lose the pipe cleaner or the fabric and once I'm able to grab it on the other end, then I quickly twist that together to hold it in place. I call these shoulder caps. They remind me of the shoulder epaulettes that soldiers have. So we put both of those on and I'm moving the fabric out of the way here just so I can get everything arranged and raised up to the height that I want. So we're just going to go on both sides raise as best as we can i like my pipe and drape kit because it's etched with the feet so i know from seven going up because when it's at the lowest is six foot tall so i can raise it to whatever height i want now the black drapes are eight foot tall so we're right up under that right now i will raise it more later on Next, we're going to gather our fabric to make our design. I'm making sure that I start in the middle so I did not gather all at once. I took the half part gathered and then turned back around to gather the other part so that it's centered. So the main thing here is getting your fabrics even on both sides and nice and centered. So you'll see me step back a couple of times to make sure that the design is nice and even. So now we are going to move on to the pink fabric. With the pink fabric, you gather your fabric trying to get the outer piece, which is the part of the fabric to the inside so that that end of the fabric is not sticking out and, and even because you want your fold, first fold outward, so facing the camera. So that's what I'm doing you want it at the beginning and also at the end that's why you see me readjusting my fingers there because I want to get the very last piece tucked inward I hope that makes sense because that's crucial to getting a seamless design where you don't see the edge of the fabric so 
all you're seeing from this end are folds, not a last piece that's just sticking out. So I'm going to show you again how I use it or do the same thing with the pink on the right side. Again, you also have your 260, uh, your, so I keep saying 260Q because I say that so much in videos, but you have your pipe cleaner extended so you can use that to wrap around. But you're seeing my fingers kind of pleat the fabric. You keep pleating until you get to the very end and I tuck that last piece in. There are times that it extends a little bit, that's fine. I just keep it that way because I don't want a little piece. Because if you fold just a tiny bit of it, then your fabric ends up looking very thin on the end and you don't want that. You want the pleats to be even with how your fingers are holding the fabric. So I'm just straightening everything out, taking a look, getting another set of pipe cleaners. Um, now we're onto the white fabric. This time I want a bigger swoop. So I'm holding with my left hand where I know it's going to tie and then with my and lift that up with my right hand then I gather the fabric towards that left hand so that's the whole trick here it takes some practice and that side looks good now we're gonna do the same so holding this time with the right hand and then folding you can see where my pleats are not even but what you do is if you want to tuck it in more you pull onto that inner fabric if you want to loosen and create a bigger swoop you relax that left part i hope that makes sense as well that's the reason i did this video because even though it's not a complete video at least you get the skills to know how to do the drapery and it's close enough that you can see pretty well so that piece on the bottom that i just tucked on gives me that better swoop at this point both sides are even you really really want to make sure you measure that part i didn't show in the video but i explained that i use the measuring tape to measure to make sure that all the drapes were even that helps you create an even design on your fabric so we're doing the same thing with a bigger soup on this one with the white fabric just to get it that low part i didn't have any pipe cleaners so i used my foot to move my bag over but that's me tying the pipe cleaner on there i like how that soup drops we're gonna repeat the same thing on that right side once we make sure that's what we want so again hold the fabric where you want to gather and then gather into your other hand so you can see where this one is not even i'm loosening that piece on the right but then pulling the inner piece so that it fits into the other white fabric that was already there and then again with the pipe cleaner twisting around the pipe cleaners are amazing because you can take them off put them back on once your design is final so now i'm gonna raise it up more because i feel like i just want it to stand out more at the bridal show so i'm raising it a little bit more and i'm on the phone with richard trying to see if he can make it if he can't then i'll just keep the design as is but i am coming tomorrow so i'm trying to figure out if i'll have time tomorrow but there are a couple things that i still need to get done so i have more pipe cleaners here i'm twisting two pipe cleaners together so i can use that to tie the design all in one piece that way it's more secure but i'm also doing that because i want to release some of the pipe cleaners you can see how wide i have these sequin ties that i use to finish off the designs i was connecting two together i made this myself with some velcro and i realized it's not going to work with the two so i'm trying now to release some of the pipe cleaner look very closely at the middle you see why i take off the original the pipe cleaners that i started the design with initially so that's kind of what you do with the pipe cleaners you twist them in such a way that you can still untwist and get them off because as you're adding fabric to the center you're also lowering where your tie is so it makes it where you need to be able to remove other pipe cleaners at the end and maybe just have one but you can't tie everything at once because of so much fabric in your hand. So I was able to remove that piece. So I have just two pipe cleaners, which are pretty much at the center. That allows me to kind of tuck 
this sequin tie in the middle to finish off the design you can do this tie you can do some ribbon you can do whatever you like you can do the curtain ties as well anything that you feel creatively in, inclined to do so that's pretty much it we're going to set our table now please don't forget to subscribe to the channel i truly appreciate it and if anybody comments about the tablecloth just don't worry i'm gonna steam it tomorrow because i just had to get most of my stuff out so it saves me time the next day and i'm rushing too because they're about to kick us out so we they, we, they can close the building for the day so I'm setting up all my stuff, my charger plate, my cylinder vases, and my flowers. And then I'll be set tomorrow to just bring whatever I need to finish off my table. I end up not adding the middle piece for the drapery, but I will do a triple layer. And then at some point, a four layer backdrop so you guys can see how to design those as well. But coming up i'm gonna do a couple more colors so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those videos thank you to everyone who's already subscribed and commenting i love your questions that you ask if i haven't answered a question there are a couple that i haven't answered that's because i want to make sure i give you the right information so that's the main thing but i make sure i respond to everybody's comments so far so Thank you guys so much. I'm using some pompous grass, repurposing some flowers that I use for another event. That makes it fast for me. I don't have to design a whole new floral arrangement, but I'm just putting this in the middle.